It's not unusual in healthcare to see both the arithmetic and geometric mean. It's particularly useful in cases where length of stay is being calculated. So here we have a table from CMS on pneumonia with major complications and they give us a geometric length of stay of 5.0 and an arithmetic mean of 6.1. The geometric mean LOS tries to control for the influence of outliers. It's particularly useful when you have a low number of cases. With an average length of stay of 6.1 and a geometric length of stay of 5.0, the CMS distribution for all Medicare cases may have looked similar to these sample 10 cases. The example will be given in numbers. However, the function is exactly the same if you're using Excel. So here we have our 10 patients with a length of stay ranging from 2 to 11 days. To calculate the arithmetic mean, you type in the equal sign, find the average calculation and collect the range of cells you want. Click the green arrow will return and there we have our 6.1. And the geometric length to say is just as easy in Excel or numbers. Type it in, you find the geometric and you select the cells and click OK. So if you're using Excel or numbers it's just that easy. However, many programs don't have a calculation for geometric length of stay, so it's good to have in your toolbox a way to calculate it. So this is how you do it. You find the cell, you find the log base 10, and you copy that and you paste it into the other cells. And then you need to count the number of cases. We'll just put one in each of the cells. And then we'll sum that up. And we'll also sum up our log length of stays. And then we'll divide that by the number of cases. And once you have that, you push your equal sign, then you find power, and there we go. And we add the number of cases and the sum of the log length of stay. Click OK, and there we have our five-day geometric average length of stay.